Hello, my name is Daniel Helm and this is Jane. Now, I had Skype sessions with Jane uh, that started about 18 months ago. Yeah, that's right. It was March 2013. Because we had another one in July 2013 mm -hmm. and then the last one was a good 12 months ago we worked out and it was October 2013. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why did we have sessions online? Well, we had sessions online. Um, we'd been messaging each other for a little while because I didn't think I needed any help. It, I was just plodding along quite happily, not realising that my life was in crisis really. I was coming to the end of my work as I knew it. I'd had two failed relationships, marriages, and felt guilty, especially on the second one. I put everything I of me into that second relationship. And it was all time to sort of really stop and open a new door, step through it, and go into the next abyss. But I was so scared. And that's where you helped me to, to cross over, to make me realise that you're just ploughing on and you're getting yourself in, or I was getting myself into a right hole and vortex that I couldn't get out of. Because you were off work at that time? I was off work. Have you been off time. work for a year? I, it was near enough a year. Okay. Um, and um, with health problems? It was with health problems. Stress related? I, stress related. Ulcerated colitis, mm -hmm. and that's the first time I was diagnosed with it, okay. which is normally a younger person um, that gets diagnosed with it. Okay. Um, so, so was that is what was was the was that the reason you were off work? It was a bit of, well, so it was yes, a mix of it. it was a bit of mix of the stress involved um, because my husband had left me, and he was actually one of my managers at work, and of course it was just work was changing. I didn't like the way it was changing and um, been a little bit old school now. I'd been there 28 years um, and I suppose I was looked on as a bit of a dinosaur, although I've got the experience. Um, so it just, everything seemed to be happening and everything seemed to be happening around these people, around work, and I kept trying to plough on, silently ploughing on, getting angrier and angrier, getting more frustrated. Um, I'm just stressing, internally stressing, I would never tell anybody. Nobody at work knew what I was going through. Even family at home didn't know what I was going through. And I could, I didn't feel like a, it was their business, really. And until we sort of got messaging and sort of like, hang on a minute, perhaps this, this, there is some life in this life coaching and, and perhaps there is life in the tapping and, and when I saw you first on Skype, I wasn't sure what to expect. And you were so relaxed, you were so confident, you we, knew what you were doing. Well, we, oh, did I get you to make a piece first? You did, and on there, um, I can't remember all the items, but the main two was my first husband. Yeah. My second husband was a yeah. major concern. The death of my father, which was linked to my first husband, yes. because of the way he had reacted to me wanting to go and see my dad and everything. Um, second husband um, with his family, his three children, and I had the, I had I had to look after them. That that was from me. That was my feelings. It wasn't yeah. that I had to at all, but I, I I just took it aboard that they were just brought to me to look after. And those were really high. Those were like eights, nines, tens. Oh, very no, high. They were tens. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very tight. Yes. But soon, uh, I got out my messages from the body book, and we related yeah, that amazing. to ulcerated colitis. Yes. And it was a, it was the fulminating fury. It yes. was the feeling not being loved. Absolutely. And all of this stuff was related. It was all related, and everything that you came out with with that book. Mm -hmm was related to my life and and it was that was a that was a turning point where you suddenly thought hang on a minute then it's yes this is me you've just read out what i'm feeling i think i remember the first session with you as well we did some tapping on it uh, and uh, it didn't get better straight away at all did it no not which at is all. A, which is a classic thing it doesn't yes. you know it's not instantaneous but what happened what happened was it uh, well, it was still a bit she of came back happening. four or five months later for the second session. Yeah. You only came for three sessions, I, and she has completely radically turned her life around. I as a seriously result. have, yeah, yeah okay, absolutely. So, so. so something, uh, uh, it didn't happen overnight. It was something that went away, and we still messaged, uh, which was reassurance that you were there, that at any point, if I needed a session, 
I could have come to you, but I didn't think, I, I didn't felt that I actually really needed it. And because of the way you are in a session and your, your little smiley face, and it's, a, it's so reassuring. And in my mind, if I was having a problem, I would think back to that session and sort of visualise um, your face and just visualise tapping to get rid of the problem that I was suffering. And then I realised really that this, the problems I was thinking about weren't really problems at all. That yes, there were factors in my life, but I could overcome them. Right. Um, and one of the main things was work. I struggled on the work. I went poorly. I went sick. And it got to a stage where it was something had to give, and it had to be the work. It had to go. The security and the financial implications of that was another major worry. I was I was really wondering where my next penny was going to come from. I retired, and from that day that I retired, my ulcerative colitis appeared to get better. Overnight, it sort of my tummy didn't feel as tight, and then Johnny's not. Right. And the, the fact that I couldn't go out of the house because of implications, if anybody knows what they are, for ulcerative colitis, um, sometimes when it's in yeah. a flare up, you can't leave the house for. Yes personal reasons and things yeah. and it was just the fact that the day I retired I, I had to get out of the house yeah. and I, I was it was just amazing and I felt so free so in relation to some of the descriptions of what's happening with ulcerated colitis yes one of the big ones was letting go so yes. it's, it's, so it's a letting so it, it's that it's the inflammation sort of yeah. the an ulcer yes um, it's uh, it's like a, a burning issue. Oh, the yes. burning, so there are burning issues with being angry. Yes. So it's just, you know, you're attacked too with a one wing, so that means that there's a tendency for be, for, for the anger oh, yes. and for <laughs> the perfectionistic traits to come in yes. a little bit. But that um, the, the the injustice of what had happened to you and of what, what you'd given and helped other people. Yes. So we worked on EFT with that. We did. But then you also had an awareness of what you needed to work on when personally oh, yes. and what and consciously that I need to let this stuff go. Well that's right, and I think after that first session again that was a case of I was been able to you gave me some understanding yeah. and in my own head I took that step to try and problem solve yeah. and look and research for what I could possibly do. So if you think about just the, the healing of that, okay. so it was, the, it was the letting go of the anger and yes. the injustices, which yes. we did EFT on, yeah. then actually you worked through your own way of letting the job go. Yes. And you're talking about, wow, yeah. when I actually let that job go, yeah. We're talking 28 years of experience. I mean, you've been in, yeah, uh, yeah. Am, in the ambulance service. In the ambulance service. Yeah. I started off as a vehicle cleaner, yeah. worked my way up, been several managers, yeah. but I ended up as an emergency care practitioner working on minor illness and minor injuries, right. um, which I actually enjoyed, but because of the changes coming in, um, it, it didn't feel comfortable, it didn't sit comfortable with yes. me. Yeah. And, with my husband leaving at about the same time. It was just like a little bit of jigsaw was all got dis disintegrated at the same time. And I thought my life was over. I just generally thought there was no future for me. I'd hit 50, I sort of thought, that's it, what is my future? It's just going to be lying in bed and, and possibly reading, perhaps listening to a little bit of music, hypnosis tapes. Yeah. And it was just that, what future have I got? You know, hang on a minute, I'm still young. Yes, I can get over this ulcerative colitis. People tell me that it's just a flare up, even though I didn't feel like it at the time. But after the second session we had in the summer, it was a consolidation of everything that you put together. And, and you had sort of again went over the focus on the book, and I could see that some of the anger had gone, even though I hadn't finished work by then. Mm. Um, but it was, I think that was the second session I made my mind up that I had to do something drastic. Regardless of what was going to happen, I had to finish work. I had to forget my exes. I, can't, I won't forget my dad, but the issues around in my dad, they had um, they'd become more uh, culpable. Yeah. Um, Is that because you've reduced it with EFT? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm a, Yes, everything, everything we talked about, everything we we'd gone through, the and understanding my enneagram as well, um, and then it gave me the courage really to 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 stop work. 
Brilliant. Okay, last three minutes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about security. Oh, that was security. One of the other things, so. well, again, with security, I linked to my job. Yeah. You know, it was money. It's decent money coming in. Um, but to finish my job, I thought, what on earth am I going to do? Or, you know, where's my next penny going to come from? Yes, I've got a little bit of pension. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to cover anything, really. Um, but a job fell into my lap. I'm self-employed. And initially, because of the English creative license, I was going to do a part-time role. Mm -hmm. I do full time now and I'm loving it and it's just, a bit, everything seems to have come to, into place and I'm now the person or near enough the person I want to be. I'm free, I'm liberated and if I want to go somewhere I go, I don't feel guilty, I just go and if I, if I do want something or just to lie in bed with a duvet I do it and it just feels right. I um, attribute the transformation more about, uh, as opposed to becoming the person that I want to be, yeah. it's actually falling into the person that you truly are. Yes, I think you're probably right. That I've always been there, but because of circumstances, um, which I didn't think I could control, which yeah. was another problem. Yes. Um, yeah. But now I have me to look after, and I'm quite happy looking after me. I also look after other people, of but I yeah. look after me now. Okay. So. Okay, final minute. What anything else you'd, you'd add about what, what anybody out there going? Well, is this guy going to be able to help me? So three sessions. Trust is a huge thing. You have to be able to trust, uh, and and right from the minute uh, we started messaging, there was a rapport, mm -hmm. um, and I don't think you can do anything without that rapport. Mm -hmm. And Daniel, you're, you're such a brilliant guy. You've got a sense of humour. You're intelligent. And you understand, and you've been there, you know, so you, you've got the compassion as well. Um, and that's what I followed. That, that was my lead to follow you. Wonderful. So thank you, Daniel. You're very welcome. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Excellent. Look, 11.60. <laughs> well done, well done. That's good.